Yeah, huge win on the road. Um, we knew it was going to be tough coming in here. They're uh, quite a talented team, and the atmosphere the atmosphere here is um, kind of unmatched in the league. So we knew it was going to be a hard game, and um, you know, thankful we uh, got one at the very very end there. We made it uh, exciting, but pumped to get the three points. Really, really proud of the group. Yeah, she, uh, you know, when we knew we were getting her uh, in the trade, we knew she was going to be, you know, essentially a backbone to the group. And um, she's been around the block. She brings veteran experience. And, um, you know, she's kind of been a mainstay in this league. And I think we knew coming in she was going to be a, a big impact player for us. And, you know, we've all told her that she could, if she wants, she could be the face of this club. She can put the team on her back for years and years to come. And I think she's really starting to settle in. And um, I uh, couldn't be prouder that it was her who got the goal. And, um, you know, we welcomed her with open arms. And we told her before that they didn't want her. So uh, hopefully that gave her some extra motivation. Yeah. Um, you talked about all the players saying that you know, the importance of her has to change as well. Uh, yes and no. I mean, um, I think more so the attitude coming in here was we, we as a collective just need to turn the ship around. You know, even before Paige got to the team, we've been in a hole. It's no secret, and uh, it's no secret we've been struggling. Um, so we had a three-game stretch, and that was tough on everybody. And, um, you know, I think after the last game, we were kind of like, all right, we've got to, we have to figure out a way to do something. And what better way to start in LA? And again, it wasn't it wasn't the prettiest by any means, but um, we got three points. And no matter how you get three points, that's all that matters at the end of the day is that you get it. So coming into the game, you know, Paige obviously had a huge voice. She's she knows the that team really really well, and um, you know we used her as best we could. But I thought everybody <coughs> just really stepped up to the plate uh, in the game today, and um, it was a huge huge team effort for sure. Theo, go ahead. Hi, Dan. Congratulations on three points. Um, I wanted to bring you to mind was that uh, after the three games that you know, something had to change. Can you tell me more about you know, what went down in, in regard to strategy or mentality, energy? What was the kind of things that needed to change? And what did you, you do to do? Yeah, I think, you know, I before this game, it was, uh, I think we were eight games in and one win and not many goals and we've had tons of goals conceded and uh you know we've lost every stat you could probably think of i think on the stat sheet and you know that's just not gonna it's just not gonna be sustainable um this whole season and we're still really early on you know i know a ton of people look at the table and where we are and this and that but there's just no point at the moment um it's just such a long year and so i think after last game the you know, the group kind of came together and we were just like, we can, this, this isn't sustainable. And um, how on earth do we progress somehow um, in any category? And uh, we kind of just came in here and, be, and was just like, we have nothing to lose. And we're going to kind of go balls to the walls here against LA. And they're, again, it was such a risk. They're such a talented team and um, they've got tons of pace everywhere on the field and tons of talent. And uh, I think we knew the risk we were going to run, but um, you know, it's a high risk, high reward kind of strategy. And, um, you know, even though we scored on a set piece, I think mentality wise, it just helped the group really just be on the front foot. And um, it's hard to play here with the fans and just their stadium. And uh, it's such a cool atmosphere for them. And I think us coming in here and just kind of silencing the crowd really just kind of gives us a shot in the arm. So um, I just think moving forward, we just have to grow on this. You know, it's a it's a good step in the right direction, but it's by no means the standard I think the players want. And, uh, you know, we just need to keep continuing to push forward because in four days we have a really, really tough game at home against Portland. So they're going to come flying at us, and we just have to be ready. Um, just kind of following up on that, you were kind of uh, hinting at it, but sort of playing more direct, pressing high, right? Kind of maybe not possessing as, as close to goal as you have been. Tell me a little bit more about what it's been like to possess the ball a lot. I know um, you, you as the goalkeeper obviously take a lot of pressure, right? The ball's coming back to you more. You're, 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 when, when you lose the ball, the chances right off the opposition. Yeah, I think, you know, 
the possession part of the game, we definitely aren't we aren't trying to look away from that. We're not trying to lose that either. Um, you know, Coach Fran came in and was very clear that he wants to play possession and have this possession style kind of like Barcelona, and we are all on board with that. That is not um, something we're losing by any means, but I think in this game with being eight games in, um, we just came off another loss. It was the third game of the th- – Three game stretch. We had to just try something different, and uh, you know, I don't know how LA scouted us, but I'm sure they thought we were going to kind of possess out of the back, and maybe we presented them something a little bit different. But for us, if we just felt we were under pressure, we were like, you know what, let's just turn them around and get them facing their own goal, and just put them under a bit of pressure, and you know, let's keep the pressure away from us as far as possible. You know, especially in the back line and. The possession part, you know, we definitely do not want to lose sight of that. That's we're, you know, we're not changing that, and um, we're gonna we're gonna really stick to that and try and perfect it towards the end of the year. Thanks so much for your time, Jay. All right, Jay, again, big 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 uh, memorable memorable. Thank you. So you mentioned the atmosphere here, and um, the game just didn't look that it was. Oh, look at our atmosphere. We can play in this, and, and it just galvanizes us. Does it galvanize? The opponents too, and, and what ways does it help uh, opponents? Uh, it's uh, it's hard. I mean, um, they're definitely not cheering for you, you know, and uh, which is great. Um, I know it's hard for younger players to like hear some things, but um, it's all part of the game. It's all uh, it's all gamesmanship, and LA has definitely used it to their advantage, which is awesome. It's you know, we said to the younger players coming in here, we told Coach Fran, we were like, this is going to be a huge party, and. Uh, it's up to us to either get sucked into it or not. And, um, you know, I think L.A. and this organization has set the standard in the league essentially for atmosphere and how their club is uh, presented. And I love playing here. It's uh, it's so fun. You know, the fans yell all certain things at me, and I love it. But uh, it's definitely hard. I think, um, you know, when we score, another team scores, the, it's silence and crickets. And uh, But when they score, my gosh, you're going to hear it uh, for hours and hours. So... Um, it's a cool atmosphere. It's so unique, and uh, it's definitely the standard in the NWSL. Uh, players in uh, you know, elsewhere in soccer and in other sports will talk about going to an opposing place where it's really tough, and uh, then you know, the other side's booing you. It's as if you're getting cheered. Does that? Sure. Yeah, I guess so. If that's how you want to think of it, um, you know, I think the fans are great, whether they're home or away. Uh, I'm obviously I love the Houston people, and that's my city, but. Um, I'm here for any kind of fan because, you know what, they grow the game. And if they want to boo me, sick. But I hope you come back next game, you know. Anything else on Zoom before we wrap up? Thanks, guys.